speech extractor or noise suppression system is what they call it here on the back noise suppression system from Germany okay looking at the uh, face of the unit uh, we'll start here at the top and you basically have your DC input which is uh, 12 volts uh, you have your audio out line and then you have what is called your audio get the camera up here a little closer you have audio uh, one and two, in other words you can hook up two separate uh, transceivers uh, to this unit at the same time. Uh, the important uh, thing to note is that uh, audio one is not tunable, but audio two in is tunable by this little hole here in the back. There's a little uh, Phillips screw, uh, a little Phillips headed uh, pot in there, and people probably ask, well, why only one tunable? Well, if you've got two radios and the volume control is different between the two units, you can tune the second radio to be the same level. So when you're switching between the two radios, you don't have a jump in uh, volume, okay? And that's one of the important things about this unit is you don't want to overdrive it, okay? So basically, uh, you've got your 12 volt in, your audio out to your headphones or speaker, and then your two inputs for your radio. You've got a little uh, LED green light showing you at the, end of the unit's getting power. Uh, you've got your filter on and off switch here, your filter uh, level uh, control uh, knob, and then your audio uh, control knob. So that's basically the unit. And of course, the back, uh, you've got uh, three rubber feet so that you can lay the unit uh, on your uh, your shack table and have it near your hand to operate with. Uh, I will tell you up front, this uh, unit is for the uh, serious operator who either likes to work weak signals that are down uh, low, obviously still distinguishable, but maybe you can't work him because of either atmospheric noise or he's got line noise in his area or some type of noise uh, being generated which is uh, otherwise keeping him from uh, hearing the station. All right. What you do get is, of course, you get your instruction booklet, which is very important to read this booklet, and you get a, a power plug. Okay, you just get, just get the plug. Okay, people are going to say, well, why only the plug? Because of the variations and differences of people's shack, uh, people like to do things differently, all you really need is the plug. This is your typical plug that comes on a wall wart uh, type of a transformer. Uh, basically what I did was I, I had an old wall wart that I couldn't remember what it hooked up to so I basically borrowed the cable from it and of course this is the type of cable that has the white line through it which indicates positive. All right. Now they recommend uh, inserting a slow uh, blow fuse uh, into the system to protect it and of course this uses the, the little one amp slow blow fuse and then of course I use power poles uh, within the shack so that gets you set up for power powering the unit from any 12 volt power supply source uh, whether it be battery or uh, a power supply now the other things you're going to need is you got to understand uh, real important this is a this is a mono unit okay mono it's not a stereo unit okay keep that in mind it's mono and there's a reason for that it's to protect uh, uh, the unit and we'll go into that maybe uh, a little bit later. But what you will need is you'll need uh, a cable from Radio Shack, or you can make up your own if you have your own plugs. Uh, we know the uh, plugs on modern radios are stereo, so you have a left and right. In order to get uh, the audio uh, out of the radio uh, into the unit, 
uh, I used a quarter inch stereo plug to a one inch, eighth inch mono. Okay, okay. So this cable is available at Radio Shack, and I'll show you the part number right there. The part number I believe is four two dash two one five seven. I think that's an eight or a B. Let's see if the camera will focus in on it. So that's the cable that I used to connect from the radio to the unit. Now I use stereo headphones in the shack. Stereo headphones. Uh, some guys have mono headphones. Some guys have regular headphones that are designed for amateur radio. I use a a pair of headphones that are stereo related. Okay, and if you plug this unit into the into the uh, receive side, uh, the audio out, all you're going to get is either the left or right ear, and you're going to think, well, what's wrong? Is this unit broke? Again, this is a mono unit. So what you'll need is you'll need an adapter, okay, to go from stereo stereo to mono. And this happens to be a, a one eighth inch mono male to quarter inch stereo adapter, part two seven four dash eight seven zero from Radio Shack. If I can get this thing to focus, it's just not wanting to focus very good on that, that package. But basically. Uh, here's the adapter right here, and then what I've done is I, I went ahead and added a, uh, a right angle male to bring the cord out to the side. Uh, you can possibly get just the adapter, one eighth inch to maybe one eighth inch uh, adapter, and plug right into the unit. But I used what I had at the time, and this is what I came up with. So that'll give you. Uh, both left and right uh, audio in your headphones if you're using stereo. If you're using a set of mo uh, mono headphones, uh, no problem. Uh, just plug them right in if they're an eighth inch jack, uh, or if you're a quarter inch, you'll need a, a mono to mono adapter. So basically, uh, connections again uh, mono, uh, one eighth inch uh, from the unit to either your, your speaker output jack uh, on the speaker, uh, back of the radio, or uh, a set of headphones. Uh, uh, for your audio out. But audio in one and two will make your connections from this unit to your radio. Once you get your power, your connection set up, you're ready to turn this unit on and get going. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, uh, now we've got the unit uh, powered up with power. Uh, we've got our headphone jack ready to plug our headphones into. And then of course we've got our uh, our audio in uh, cable from our radio uh, plugged in and as you can see the little green LED light indicates that it's got power we'll select volume one source, we'll leave the filter off we'll set the volume control to 50 percent as they recommend and we'll leave the filter setting about 50 percent also now what you want to do is you want when you when you power up your radio you want to run your volume down all the way have your filter off when you plug this unit in Okay. Uh, you want to slowly uh, bring up the audio volume uh, on the radio after you plug it in uh, to where obviously you get uh, noise coming through either your speaker or headphones. You'll find that uh, usually around uh, 9 o'clock position is a sufficient amount of volume uh, coming from the radio to drive this unit. And then you draw and control the additional volume into your headphones or speakers with this control unit here. But 50% or 12 o'clock position is about where you want to be set at. Very important, do not overdrive the audio coming from your receiver into this unit, okay? Uh, it's very important. It does not take a lot of receive audio to get this unit uh, to working correctly, but you do not want to overdrive it, so keep that in mind.